welcome back to the math party my math party people anderson here your math coach let's go ahead and get into this video now following up from turning percents into decimals now we want to make sure we know how to turn percents into fractions remember percents decimals fractions they're all just numbers they're just in their own little language and that's it but let me go ahead and show you how to turn a percent into a fraction super super easy because remember what did we learn in the last video and the previous ones before that when we're talking about percents Percent literally means out of 100, right? Percent literally means out of 100. So percent, again, means per, means out of, and then the cent means 100. So the word percent literally translates to out of 100. And the reason that I'm showing you that is because my simple question is, what does the phrase out of mean in math? Not of, out of. Out of means divide, right? Yeah, that's it. Out of means divide. And so basically to turn a percent into a fraction, you need to realize that every percent, like 56%, that's the same thing as saying 56 out of 100. Because you're saying, hey, 56%, it's 56 out of 100. That is the literal translation. And so bam, you're good. You can turn any percent into a fraction by placing that number over 100 and you're fine. And so you take a look right over here, 56 over 100. Boom. Are we done though? No, not quite. Because remember, when it comes to dealing with fractions, typically we want to simplify them. And so taking a look here, we have 56 out of 100. What are 56 and 100 both divisible by? Well, the answer is going to be 4, and you can divide a 4 out of both the numerator and denominator. But if you can't see that, remember to start small. You have 56 and 100, which are both even numbers, right? They're both even numbers. And if you have two even numbers, Remember that they're both divisible by two. So we can go ahead and start off with that. Let's start off by dividing both the numerator and denominator by two. 56 divided by two is 28, 100 divided by two is 50. And then from there, you might be able to see that, oh yeah, 28 and 50, they're both still even. I can divide them both by two again. So notice, even if you didn't see that four from the very beginning, dividing 56 by four and 100 by four, if you start small and divide by two, you see that you can divide by two again, and remember, dividing by 2 and dividing by 2 is the same as dividing by 4. So with that said, we got 14 over 25, and that's our answer right there in D. Now let's go ahead and go through a couple of more exercises here. Because again, to turn a percent into a fraction, simply put it as a fraction over 100, divided by 100, and then simplify. That's it. Divide by 100 and simplify. So let's take care of 41%. So again, the percent right over here, the percent will turn this into 41 out of 100, just like that. And over here, there's really nothing else to be done because 41 is a prime number. There's nothing else that can go into 41 and 100 at the same time. And so therefore, you're done. Your answer is D, 41 out of 100, it's right there. Next up with number three, 99%. Again, that'd be the same thing as saying 99% per 100, just like that. Now let's look for another example where we're going to have to simplify a little more here. Let's see 35%. Okay, so 35%, what we have going on here again is 35 out of, and remember, percent means out of 100. And so from here, hey, let's simplify. What do 35 and 100 have in common? Well, 35 and 100, those are both divisible by 5. And you've got to know your rules of divisibility because at the end of the day, my math party people, 35 and 100, that means that, hey, look, 35 ends in a 5, 100 ends in a 0. Remember that any number that ends in a 5 or a 0 is divisible by 5. And so from here, my math party people. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely have already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way, you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing, and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are, and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. Divide by 5 in the top and the bottom. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And there's our answer right there. 7 over 20. And we're all good. Seriously, my math party people, it can be that straightforward, that much fun. Let's take care of 26% here, and let's take care of a few more examples, and we'll call it a day. So 26%, just write it as 26 out of 100. 
And what are 26 and 100 both divisible by? Again, start small. They're both even. Start off with a 2 and see where you go from there. 26 divided by 2 is 13. 100 divided by 2 is 50. And I actually see that right here in answer choice A. And so we're done. 13 is a prime number. Can't go into 50. So there's nothing really else you can do. Up next, number 6, 47%. Well, 47 is a prime number, so we have 47 out of 100, and that's really gonna be it right there. Again, turning a percent to a fraction, super straightforward. Just divide it by 100, and you are good. 73%, that'd be 73 out of 100. Next up, let's say we're looking at 36%. Well, we got 36 out of 100, but we have some simplifying to do. And so when we're dividing by 30, well, you know, 36 and 100, both of those are divisible by four. Because 36 divided by 4 is 9, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. And so there's my answer right there in A. And some of the math part of people, let's go ahead and do just a couple more here. 29%, 29 out of 100. Remember, percent out of 100. Lastly, over here, 45%, and then we're calling it a day. If we have 45%, well, guess what? That's going to end up being, well, hey, 45 out of 100. And then we ask ourselves, well, what are 45 and 100 both divisible by? They're both divisible by 5. And so that's what we'll have right there, my math party people. Divide them both by 5, and we see that we'll have 9 over 20. And that's our answer right there. Super casual, super straightforward, my math party people. So I hope you enjoyed this. And again, this was short, sweet, simple to the point, but it's also very, very important. So please go beyond this in the course. Go to the worksheets. Go to the speed drills. Keep practicing your butt off and then keep moving forward so you can keep learning the right way. Once we get to the calculated portion, trust me, you're not going to be stuck on those little steps like turning a percent into a decimal. You're going to be very adept at that. That way you can focus on the procedure, the calculations, and nothing else. Again, I'm Anderson, your study expert here. I'll see you in the next video. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, Go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.